our topic for discussion this evening for, from my presentation is do sub-Saharan African migrants, um, immigrants, transfer social capital acquired in the host country to their forebears? Social capital transfers of sub-Saharan African migrants residing within the sub-Saharan African region are usually given less attention compared to financial and human capital transfers from especially outside the continent. And uh, this study highlights how Somali migrants in Kenya transfer the social capital they have ac accumulated and maintained in Kenya to sustain the Somali society in their country. With the dysfunctional institutional uh, structures in Somalia, which are caused by a protracted uh, and unresolved conflict that, is, uh, that has gone on for some time in Somalia, social capital becomes very crucial in that country. The research method that uh, I used for this study was you know, review of uh, literature from, uh, I, I used content analysis where I reviewed literature from peer-reviewed journals, academic theses, reports and gray literature like uh, newspapers and other documents that talk about the Somali migrants in Kenya. Um, social capital helps in facilitating the migration of Somalias from Somali to, 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 to other countries and especially to Kenya. Migration of Somalis from Somalia, and not just from Somalia, but also from refugee camps in Kenya, is largely facilitated by transnational and kinship networks of Somalis in the diaspora. They facilitate this by giving financial and also social support. The Somali diaspora maintains a web of interlinking networks between home, host, and also other diasporic locations all over the world. These networks are usually based on strong kinship and friendship ties, which are rooted in the Somali culture and uh, religion. Their culture obligates people to help one another. If you are well off, you are obligated by culture to help those who do not have uh, means. And therefore, even people who may not be going through uh, hardship are obligated to help the needy in the society. Social capital and migration of Somalis to Kenya. Kenya is a favorite destination for Somali migrants and hosts the largest Somali migration population. And this includes refugees and non-refugees. Apart from geographic proximity and uh, the traditional migration paths of Somalis coming to Kenya, the migration of Somalis to Kenya is, always, uh, is also greatly influenced by social linkages and uh, kinship ties, as well as community and religious networks. There are strong uh, brotherhood bonds that exist between the Kenyan Somalis and the, the, the uh, Somalia Somalis, and they share a common sense of belonging and uh, also cultural and uh, relig religious similarities. And this is very key in influencing the migration of Somalis uh, from Somalia to Kenya. The role of social networks in settlement of Somalia, Somali migrants in Kenya Somalis in Kenya tend to settle where they have their brothers, other Somalis. And this is usually for easier access to social and kinship networks that are crucial for survival. Somali networks and linkages in the diaspora also offer emotional and material support, which are important for the people who have moved in, for the migrants who move into Kenya. They, these networks helped them, helped them to settle in the new location with ease. Networks give access to essentials like accommodation, livelihood opportunities like jobs, and also friendship and relationship arrangements which are important for people moving into a new place. 
East Lee, which is a suburb of Nairobi, is, and is popularly known as Mogadishu Ndogo, meaning little Mogadishu or small Mogadishu, accommodates the largest numbers of Somalis in Kenya. Many Somalis are attracted to settle in East Lee by because of their aspirations for a better education, finding a livelihood, or even being able to support rel relatives back home and also in refugee camps. The relationship between vulnerability and social capital accumulation. Many Somalis in Kenya are undocumented migrants who come into the country or even ex escape from the refugee camps using and regulated migratory systems of middlemen and uh, brokers. Such migrants are usually vulnerable and they have minimal social, economic, and even political engagement in Kenya. And they face many cha challenges related to integration and security. And as a way of dealing with their vulnerability, the migrants are forced to mobilize and not just to mobilize, but also to maintain uh, social capital from transnational networks of social, digital, and economic interconnections from both within and outside Kenya as a survival strategy. So the accumulation of uh, and maintenance of social capital for the Somali uh, migrants in Kenya is not an option, it is a need. Somali migrants expand social capitals to form wider and closer networks with other Somalis in Kenya, back in Somalia, and also in the wider uh, Somali diaspora globally. And they keep very close ties with each other. Uh, the next slide is about ISLI as a networking center for the Somali migrants. ISLI which I mentioned earlier as a suburb of Nairobi, is an important center for Somali culture and uh, for social networking. It acts as a transnational economic center and is the hub for Somali, Somalis in terms of income generating activities in Kenya. ISLI links the Somali community in Kenya to the worldwide Somali diaspora and other global networks of trade. The suburb offers an opportunity for the Somali community to have trade interlinkages and connections with the world's most significant uh, trade hubs like Dubai, Bangkok, Hong Kong, and Guangzhou. The transfer of social capital back to Somalia. Transfer of social capital accumulated and maintained in Somali by, by Somali migrants, both in Kenya and other parts of, of the world, plays a pivotal role in sustaining the Somali society back home. Social capital and networks acquired abroad play an important uh, role in enhancing uh, the participation of the Somali diaspora in socio-economic and political activities in their home country. Rapid technological evolution which is crucial for, for, for transnational networks, has helped the Somali diaspora to cultivate and maintain critical life, lifelines. The absence of uh, state interference has contributed to the rapid technological evolution all over Somalia. The transfer of social capital back to Somalia is continued in this next slide. Somali migrants mobilize social capital in their host country and then transfer it to their country of or origin, boosting financial and human capital transfers in the process. The financial and human capital transfers that are boosted by social capital include remittances, investing in business, service provision and community development, lobbying and advocacy, political participation, skills, and knowledge transfer through return migration. Let's look at uh, how social capital uh, facilitates the transfer of remittances. Remittances sent by the Somali diaspora are 
a lifeblood of the Somali economy and constitute the greatest share of diaspora's con contribution to the sustenance of Somali society and reconstruction of Somalia. In conflict-ridden Somalia, sending of remittances would have been very difficult without a well-known informal financial system that is called Hawalad. Hawalad is comprised of a network of individuals and organizations, both in the diaspora and Somalia, that use informal methods to transfer money from the diaspora to Somalia. Societal networks and cultural norms are the building blocks of this money transfer system. And how a large system is based on trust and solidarity, cultivated through cultural and ethnic networks of people who are not necessarily um, affiliated to each other, but who are from that community of uh, Somalis. Um, the relationship between social capital, how social capital facilitates investing in business in Somalia. In the absence of a stable government, the Somali diaspora rely on social networking as an important factor for building trust in business endeavors. Access to social, social professional and transnational net networks makes it posi possible for the Somali diaspora to run commercial enterprises in their home country with ease. Kenya is an important business center for Somalis uh, in, the, in the region, and it, has, it offers important networks that are useful for establishing businesses in Somalia. Even uh, Somalis who are not uh, based in Kenya, they use those networks to invest back home. ISLI, business community, which is an association of local entrepreneurs in ISLI, is an important uh, business network for Somali business people who may want to start a business in Somalia. And uh, when it comes to social capital and service provision and community development, the Somali diaspora has many small fundraising networks globally that support service delivery and sustain development in Somalia. In the absence of uh, public sector services, social and transnational networks of Somali diaspora come in handy to offer much needed basic services like healthcare, education, water, and infrastructure. Diaspora associations also use their transnational networks home and abroad to link up with communities in Somalia and to fund community-specific uh, projects. How social capital facilitates lobbying and advocacy. The Somali, di Somali diaspora in Kenya has been actively involved in many lobbying activities. For example, they prevailed upon the transition of fed federal government in Somalia to retain the Somalia ab ambassador to Kenya, Mohammed Al Ali Nur. And uh, the Somali diaspora in Kenya, they're involved in many uh, peace conferences held in Kenya to discuss the peace of Somalia. And these diaspora networks are also involved in many advocacy um, initiatives in, uh, when based in Kenya. And there are numerous uh, Somali civil society groups that are based in Kenya. And uh, there are various examples that uh, can be mentioned. For example, the Youth United for Social Mobilization Let's look at the, the social capital and political um, involvement as we go to finishing with this. The Somali diaspora in Kenya have substantial influence on Somali's uh, political direction. Um, in April 2000, for instance, the Somali community in Kenya stood in solidarity with the Putland government when it withdrew support for Djibouti conference. Uh, complaining of exclusion, suppression, and marginalization. Kenya is home to Somali political elite who have great influence in, 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 governance, in the governance of Somalia. And in the past, Somali politicians have used Nairobi for their political activities. And there are so many um, Somali political parties that have branches in Nairobi. 
And social capital is also important in skills and knowledge transfer through return migration. And uh, uh, you find that uh, the, Somali, the Somali diaspora are motivated to return home to transfer skills and knowledge acquired abroad. But this is not possible without uh, their social networks in their host countries. The return um, migration of Somali diaspora is usually facilitated by, uh, by, by their networks of, uh, of, of family and, uh, and, and, and their uh, family and professional networks back in their host country. And this enables them to go and come back and with the confidence that if the trouble comes, they can be helped to go, they can be evacuated back to their host countries. They feel more confident to, to, to travel back home and uh, whether, I mean, even though initially they may go thinking they can stay for, for some time, they feel confident that if anything happens, they can use their networks to go back to their country of, uh, of, of, of destination. And in conclusion, uh, I would like to say that the migrant social capital transfers to their country of origin are as important as financial and human capital transfers. And in politically unstable uh, situations, like the case of Somalia, migrants have to mobilize social capital to be able to send money or transfer human capital to their home country. And in the case of Somalia, kinship and community ties and networks have been a, a lifeline for the Somali people in the face of a prolonged and continuing conflict situation in Somalia that has led to mass migration and destruction of institutions and infrastructure in that country. And therefore, uh, social capital needs as much attention as the attention we give to financial and human capital transfers. Thank you.